It's been a little bit today since I've had a solo stream. It's been a little bit today. But now, let's get into it, everybody. Ah! Wrong view. Wrong game. Wrong everything. It's all trash. Wrong background, too. This is the background that's that, that for Pokemon. But I'm keeping it on. Just because I kind of like the change of pace. A blue background. What do you guys think of that? Feels weird. Feels off. I don't like it. Ugh. It's uncomfortable. What we're going to do? We're going to chill. This segment was originally going to be for Pokemon. However, Pokemon was taking a while to download. So I've swapped the places of it with Slime Rancher. And what I'm going to do is have... Pokemon coming up after Slime Rancher. So we're just gonna do some Slime Rancher for now. Now that being said, let's transition our brains over to over over to this screen here. Slime Rancher. How many of you hands up and chat if you if you've seen Slime Rancher before? Because this is such oh god, it's such a delightful game. I mean I played it, I've played it a fair bit on the channel. But you know, there are some people who have who've just never seen it on the channel before. Like it's it's such a fun little game. And what we're gonna be doing. Who what what do we wanna do? Rip schedule, the slight readjustment at most. Thank you. You speed run it, Pick Pick. You actually speed run this game. This game that's actually pretty cool. But um, nah, man. This game, this game is a delightful little, delightful little game. What we want to do today? Oh my God. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. I got a bunch of heartbeats. I do not need this many heartbeats. I'm going to give him to all these guys down here because I think these guys might be able to eat it. I don't really know. We're all good. Wait, Phil, what did I miss the hand time mods? Yeah, Melon Speedruns. I'm sorry to say you didn't miss the hand time mods. Melon Speedruns, guys, uh, once again, is the guy who made the um, the Failboat hat mod. It was, dude, it's really nice. I'll be up, I'll be uploading the, the VOD of me talking about it later. Melon Speedruns, the guy who made that. He's a, he's a pretty cool guy from what I understand. <laughs> Thank you very much, man, for, for, for making that. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do some Slime Rancher. So, what is our task right now? Well, first of all, oh boy. I have not tended to these areas in a while. Like, wait, they don't have mods? Yeah, man. Played had time mods. Wait, did it work? Taylor, your picture is still not updated. God, don't explode in my face, please. Uh, your, your, your picture is still not updated. We're gonna be doing Pokemon after this. I, I, I'm excited for that. Ugh! I know that's like literally what, what we were just talking about. Man, I don't know. I miss Pokemon. It's been so long. What I'm going to do, I'm not gonna talk. Nope, it's not time to talk about Pokemon. I will talk about Pokemon when the time comes. For now, we're doing Slime Rancher. Because this game is also just an absolute treat for the eyes. Like, I wish, oh, I don't know, man. I wish there was just more of this game. I mean, this game actually, actually, I, 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 I talk about it. You know, I, I, I joke about it. You know, I wish there was more. This game actually already has like a lot of content. I haven't I even gotten some of the like the later stuff. Quick argue about something. Uh, Eevee or Pikachu go. It's not, sorry, there's this nothing to argue about there. <laughs> if anyone says Pikachu, you're just dead to me. Um. Yeah, in Slime Rancher, we also like to have some nice heated arguments. Uh, all right, you know what? I don't think I've ever opened up this bag of worms with you guys here. Uh, best Squid Sister, go. Normal Squid Sister. We're not talking. We're not talking off the hook. Normal Squid Sisters. Oh, God. Ultimate money. Ultimate money. Cal I'm seeing a lot of Cali fans. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, Marie is cool. Sure, Marie is cool. But Cali just looks so much fun to hang out with. Like, Marie is cool. Don't get me wrong. But, like, if I had to hang out with either of them, I would, I would choose Cali. And then Kelly is completely bland. In what way? In what way? They are both great. I completely agree. But in what way is Kelly bland? Who's who, who compared to Marie? 
We're, you're just familiar with Marie because you've, you've had her as a story mode companion. That doesn't mean Callie lacks depth. It just means that we haven't, like, gotten the time to know her. Which is something, you know, that would be a great conversation starter, too. And then we got, like, okay. So now that, you know, I gotta ask you guys. Pearl or Marina? Now that we're on the topic. I think it was uh, my family that, um... Oh, uh, what did my family say? I think my dad was a fan of Marina and Marie. And my mom was a fan of Mar uh, Marie and Pearl. No, 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 no. It was, um, it was, no, no one, uh, none of my family liked, um, like, like Marina. That's what it was. That's what it was. Uh, both my family liked Pearl, and I think it was my dad liked Callie and my mom, uh, liked Marie. I think that's what it was. If you guys remember my parents' stream, I actually did the- I uploaded it very recently. Now, my preference... That's so tough, man. Um... I like their dynamic duo so much. I don't know. They seem like the people that would just sing the praises of the other and question your sanity if you chose them. Which is like the most wholesome thing. Like if Pearl, if, if, if you told Pearl that, that, uh, she was your favorite off the hook member, I feel like she would just like, just get angry at you and explain to you all the reasons why Marina is the best. And then likewise for Marina, Marina would just be like, what are you talking about? But Pearl is just so much better. She's so cuter and like, ah. Oh. Hey, have you seen my last comments? I've been too busy playing the game. Assume I've been too busy playing the game. Uh, I, I, I try and juggle a lot. <laughs> I try and juggle a lot. Kelly and Marie are both better than off the hook. Now that is the hottest take. So hot you'll, you'll melt yourself if you say it too much. I completely disagree though. I completely disagree. I think off the hook is so much more interesting. Now, I can't argue as fairly because I haven't, I didn't play a lot of Splatoon 1, so I missed out on seeing the Squid Sisters um, in their little area a lot. I, I am also looking for Golden Parsnips, that is correct. What do you guys think though? Squid Sisters are off the hook. I am, oh, the, off the hook. Off the hook. If I had to compare the two, it, it, off the hook, number one, way more interesting backstory. Like, their character development isn't just about, like, two kids who got lucky. Or not, 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 not just got lucky. They have, they have skill. But at the end of the day, they had their big break, and then, you know, they sort of wrote it for a while. Understandable. That's a, that's a decent story. But, like, at the same time, I like the, the, the story of, uh... Of the two, uh, of the two friends who, uh, who found each other and helped each other out. And, uh, you know, Pearl helped, uh, Pearl helped Marina out through getting acquainted with the, uh, the, up the upper world. And, uh, and in turn, Marina took a very big liking to Pearl. And then they help each other out and they're, they're adorable on the mic and like, I don't know, man. It's hard, it's hard to follow suit. All, hard to follow suit. The squid, the original Squid Sisters. I mean, it's like, I don't know. I don't, oh, God, this game is beautiful. Oh, no, no, guys, which is a better game? Uh, Farm Rancher or Slime Rancher? Wait, wait, wait Farmville, Farmville. Y'all, you guys wanna see some Farmville content from me? I already did the, the, the last fan favorite. I did Osu. Next fan favorite, Farmville. We have a lot more lore on Off the Hook than Squid Sisters. I feel it's because Squid Sisters don't have a lot of lore to give, from what I understand. Well, no, they do have the Agent 1 and 2 things. That would be really interesting to, to hear about. Um, but they give us a lot more background into Off the Hook. Understandable. Please, no, no, no. All right, sounds, sounds like, like you guys want it. Uh... So, my question, what's the next, like, 
favorite game that you guys or not favorite game what's the next game that you guys are gonna like like rally for me to play because I've recently played Osu after all you guys were uh, were talking about Osu so what, what, what's the next game you guys want from me that that completely has never been done on the channel or anything Terraria Terraria would be like really fun I'm not gonna lie I debated about doing it for the stream. Ultimate is belongs on the channel. Have no fear. That's a core Nintendo game. Human Fall Flat. I do. I actually, I think Human Fall Flat is about to add online multiplayer to their Switch version. In which case, you could probably imagine I might be playing some of that with the boys, with the with the Splatuber boys. We've actually already talked about it a little bit, but uh. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Also, wasn't... That's right. That's right. I remember what my new task was. Is to open all those things. I haven't... I only just unlocked the, um, the, the, the super-powered, um, treasure cracker. So now I can actually finally get into all, all the pods that I've missed out on all this time. God, that's gonna be nice. Just exploring the world and doing that. TF2, I have played on the channel. A very long time ago but you can you can dig it back up my old tf2 content it exists I promise you rain world I remember I told you about it on discord oh yes yes, yes 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 I do remember rain world how many people know rain world let me pull the popularity what is this area I don't remember it much oh or is it just like a different angle of like a thing I already knew about wasn't there like a big dude up there that I that I like popped or something like that Damn, what's your favorite game impossible to say I have no favorite game too hard to pick I have favorites but no favorite what about rivals rivals I will play before ultimate probably probably because I'm going to be playing look before ultimate comes out there is no doubt in my heart. Oh, Ace Attorney would be really good. No doubt in my heart, I will play a bunch of Smash likes. Slap City, Rivals, maybe uh, Icons. I've never played Icons. It doesn't really seem like a meme game though, so I probably won't. Lethal League. That's not really a Smash like, but you guys might take some enjoyment out of it. Like, I just want to play a lot of them. The Binding of Isaac. That's a horrible game. I'll, I will never play The Binding of Isaac ever. No, I will. Passparto seems like a really fun game for the channel. But, um... Oh, God. What was it? Um... Mario Party is my favorite Smash. Like, yeah, I'm going to be playing some Mario Party soon. For the, of course, for, for the main game's release. That's going to be extremely hype. Uh, Earthbound! Y'all. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I have a thing called a sponsor game. And pretty much what happens is all the sponsors come together and decide on a game for me to play from which I will play until I beat it. I'm not 100% in the game, but I will play until I beat it. Y'all talking about games to play for sponsor things. Earthbound. Earth bound is a game I have never played I've never once played it it would be extremely fun to take up that to take up that mantle or take up that that, that challenge um also guess any golden parsnips around when I was just randomly walking earthbound doesn't seem like necessarily the best stream game mm, maybe Okay, you guys want to know what, what I'm hoping for? Oh, Super Smash Flash. Dude! Y'all, remind... Okay, when I'm playing Smash Likes, remind me to play Super Smash Flash Original. Oh my god, please. I used to, like... I used to play that so much when I was a kid. But, uh, we fit. Yeah, okay, so for the next sponsor game, I want it to be kind of short. Not absurdly, you know, short, but like, 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 um, like Donut County was. But I want it to be like a game that I can take care of in like 
10 streams. You know, something like, like some sort of 10 hour game. I feel like that would be good to just sort of take up. Nothing too crazy long. Something for me to just sort of like enjoy for a little bit. Because Paper Mario I'm enjoying, but it's getting sort of lengthy. You know, I'm, I'm sort of willing. I, I, I'd be ready to, to see some other things from it. Oh, hold on. Oh. How do you stop Slime Rancher from crashing so much? I have no idea. I just boot up Slime Rancher and it doesn't crash. Apologies if that does not answer the question. Um, also, okay. Untitled Goose Game, I will play. Have no fear. That seems like incredibly fun. This way. Thank God for the map. I haven't played the map with the map in a while. Um, oh, dude, I'm getting tired. Oh, wow. That's not good. I'm yawning. Okay. Jeez. Um, I need to get like, like a cold drink after this. In between this and Pokemon. I might take my first like food break. Because uh, I'm really... <gasps> We should get Dan to play a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Funny you say that. Funny you should happen to say that. Because I have been meaning to do just that. It's blue blue you can't really see it but it's blue I've been meaning to do just that uh, as to it's the length of that series I have no idea but uh who knows who knows all I'm saying maybe that could be the next sponsor game that would be a fun sponsor game if you guys are all in on that that is the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I actually have the Game Boy one, but I can't really... I literally have it right here. I have red right there. But I can't really stream that one. Because I don't have a way to record Game Boy stuff. But, um... All I'm saying, man... This next sponsor game is gonna be pretty, pretty interesting. I was thinking! I was thinking! Uh, Wonder Mill codes when you do that. Oh, dude, I actually may. Uh, I was thinking that. Look. Okay. No. Uh, look. Paper Mario has gone on for a little bit long. I'm not gonna stop it. It's gonna. It's still gonna be come up. It's still a weekly thing. But I was thinking it might be fun to add a. Well, I've lost my positioning. To add a second sponsor game that goes on as well so every week there's two sponsor games but we'll talk about that at a slightly later day it would not alternate every week is just a, like two so it's paper mario plus the other one that we decide on and then there's less weight for the next one because it goes from because then like once Paper Mario is over we start up a next sponsor game kind of a thing and we just kind of go from there and we just keep on like all like you know whenever one is like halfway done we start up another sponsor game or I mean ideally I wouldn't do it based upon when they're halfway over but more when I complete the, them but you know yeah also, you guys want to talk about things I've never played before. Pikmin. Never played a single Pikmin. I did for like 10 minutes at a friend's house like 8 years ago. I have never once played a single Pikmin game. I'd be willing to put a Pikmin game on, on, on the list. <laughs> People in chat. Oh my god, I'm making them... They don't know what games to pick now. Now you guys are not sure what games. God, man. 
There's so many good games out. Hold on, can I just like do a quick thing? Can I just like that is so much better. There we go. Okay. Why does tab not close the map? Well, why does the map button not close the map? That that's ir that irritates me a little bit. So it's, no, it's no big deal, but at least I can slowly make my way out here. Um. Also, by the way, for people who are wondering where Banjo Kazooie is, because I mentioned that I was going to be doing Banjo Kazooie on the 12 hour. Uh, unfortunate timing. Um, my roommate who had the N64, um, as well as the game itself, um, uh, is now out of the apartment. <laughs> we have the capture card, the Dazzle still, but we just don't have the game anymore. So, I probably still will play it at some time, but it will not happen today. Apologies on that for the people who are wondering. Cause yeah, I, I never, uh, I never played the original Banjo-Kazooie or eight Banjo-Kazooie. So, uh, I'd be very willing to play that. It's unfortunate for timing, but not unfortunate for anything else. It, he, he's just like in a different area. Do you mean Rex? No, 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 no. There was a, there was a, there was a roommate that I don't think I ever introduced to you guys. Um, who, uh, who was like subletting for, for rags for, um, for the time he was here. But yeah, he had, he had the N64 and everything. What should I play? Oh, you know what I need? No, 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 no. Where is it? It's over here, right? What I want to do. I'm surprised I didn't think of it earlier. I want to go over here, hop in here, and get more of the Kukadabas. I need 40 more, I believe, in order to actually unlock this area. Let's do that, man. Let's see how many Kukadabas we can get. I've never played Layden. Never played Layden. Superman 64, never played it. Probably for the better, honestly, on that one. Um, you can go get some food and then eat during Slime Rancher if you're hungry. What are my next games? I got Puyo, I got Minecraft Server Raids. I can live. I got some Pop-Tarts. Luckily, uh, my roommate Sam Roca, um, boy, picked me up some Pop-Tarts at the supermarket. So I will probably be doing a, doing a little bit of that, but, um, or, or, or eating some Pop-Tarts. Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure what's going on with my nose right now. It's very itchy. Whoa, I got star mail. Stop pushing me. Does the star mail even matter right now? Don't eat the Kukadaba. Please, please. Give me like one second. Let me just itch my nose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. God. Oh. I'll bring out one of my tissues I have to my side here. Oh. Jeez. Uh. Yeah, right? Yo, shout outs to Roka for bringing in the, uh, bringing in the Pop-Tarts. Oh. God. Anything you need to know? About Slime Rancher? No, pretty cool. Pretty good. Oh. God. Oh. Alright, all set now. It has been thoroughly scratched. That was my chair squeaking, by the way. Uh, where's me? Where's me? Where's me? Bam. Ooh, it's actually getting darker. It's cool like when I do these streams and I can like see the, the, the time of day shifting. What flavor pop tarts do you prefer? Okay. It's been a while since I've had a pop tart or, or since I like, you know, picked my ideal selection. I'll tell you the ones I like the lot. Oh God, we're talking about pop tarts. A pop tart discussion on which is the best top pop tart. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk this. My favorite Pop Tart was. It was some sort of. Uh, I'll describe the colors. Was it like some sort of s'more thing? It was like a dark. Like, 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 like a dark brown Pop Tart with like white frosting. Uh, 
I think the middle was brown and white kind of a thing. I might be mixing like two of my favorites though. I think it was s'more. S'mores was really good. I could be mistaken some of them. Hot fudge sundae was also really good. Cookies and cream was really good. Um. Alright. I actually have a pretty good one. Because this goes outside the realm of, um. Of simple flavors. Are you a hot Pop-Tart person? Or a cold Pop-Tart person? Do you eat them out the box? Or do you like to warm them up first? Now this, I hope, sparks some proper war. Frosted Strawberry. I'm not a big fan of the fruity ones. I'm not going to call any shade on it. But I, I, I'm, just, I'm just interested in what you guys think. Hot, cold, hot. Cold. Cold, by the way, refers to out the box. So here, uh, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold the conversation. Ready? New challenger approaches. There's three variations. Cold, because some actually people, people actually prefer to put them in the freezer. There's a whole brand of them based around that. Cold, box, or hot. There's three. Cold, box, or hot. All right. Because I know there there is actually a subsection of people who put them in the in the in the fridge. What on earth are pop tarts? I'm not gonna tell you. Look that up for yourself, please. Goodness. All right. I see hot. I see some people saying hot. Um, super hot. All right. You guys want to know my 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 preference? So my thing. I was super in to warming up my pop tarts for like a minute each. I get, I get my Pop-Tart, a mini each. Done, done. Then, what? Oh my god, good jump. Then, my friend introduced me to the idea of eating it out the box, and I'm like, you know what? I can never look back. Well, I, can, I, can, I can't actually need to look back. But I, can, I became a box boy. But I, I just ate them out the box right from the wrapper. And I was like, you know what? This is really good. Like... I, okay, it's one of those things. It's like convenience versus slightly better taste. Like, it's pretty good when it's hot. I'd say, I'd say honestly, the best variation of a pop tart is when it's hot. But the simple convenience of just opening them up and snacking them without ever having to leave is really good hot has a slight edge but nothing better than a slight edge at the end of the day a pop tart is still excellent when it's right out the box all right my question now comes up where on earth am i going see dan is an intelligent man Please someone screen cap Taylor saying that because I'm sure he'll never say that again. What are you sh <laughs> What is that boy doing? That was funny. It's still on his head. You are all, all you all are just lazy. Well, look, I don't think Pop Tart is an edic is, is like, you know. I think Pop Tart favors the lazy. I'm not gonna lie. If you're eating a Pop Tart hot, box, cold, whatever. You're probably not looking for an advanced meal. I hate to break it to you. You're not a sophisticated lad just because you eat a Pop-Tart. You're probably already looking for something pretty lazy. That's all I'm saying. He's breakdancing. Like breaking his neck. They have no neck. Where's my teleporter at here? One issue I find from this area is that, man, like, if you can't find your teleporter, you're, you're, you're going to be here for a while. Uh... But when you get hot, it's that perfect melted texture. I'll give you. Like, I'll give you that. Like, now when you do heat them up, what do you guys get? Like, like 20 seconds, one minute, 20 minutes. You, uh, I only prefer uh, pop tarts when they're smoldering ash. Like, what, what, what's your, what's your, what's your preference in heat? 
All right, that is the challenge of this area. But the area isn't challenging. That's the issue. It's, it, it's a, a... I don't know. I just feel like there should be an indicator or something that, that gives the presence of it. Toaster? Oh, you guys are toaster boys. I've always been a, a microwave. Pop tartar. A hot pop tart. Uh, get toaster. So other guys get pop tart. Maybe. Ten seconds in the microwave is good enough for the dessert flavors. Exactly. I feel ten to twenty seconds in the microwave is like the ideal hot. It doesn't need to be anything more advanced than that. You could make it more advanced than that, but I don't know. Not for me. Actually, it was almost bad. I'm a simple guy. You've never eaten pop tarts. You've lived in the UK. Is is that a regional thing? Is that a regional dialect? Is it? I had no idea. There we go. We got a bunch of these tools. And then... Hello? I start at the gardens or you give me enough. Hello? I've gotten you enough. Oh, wait. Isn't that for something else, though? How do you unlock the, the area? How, I, have I been stupid? How do you unlock this boy? I know we have enough. You need more? I thought I got enough. I thought, I, I thought I counted. I thought we had more than enough. <laughs> All right, Spons, it's the fail blind. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Thank you for the fail blind. The fail blind is, I gotta admit, probably, you know, better for my own take. Fail blind is desperately underused. More people, please use the fail blind. It's a great little emoji. I feel it doesn't get enough love. Stop biting me. You will never kill me. I promise you this. You will never kill me. I have only died in Slime Rancher to, to like gravity. The animals will never be able to get me. In various explosions of the world. Like. They will never be able to touch me. Don't worry, we still got some time before Pokemon. We got like 10 minutes before I'm gonna I'm gonna dip for a second. And I'm actually gonna eat a Pop Tart. A box Pop Tart. Because heating them up takes an extra minute of prep time. And you have to wait for them to cool. Which, you know, if you have the time for it, is all good. But when I'm running a pretty strict, you know, 12 hour live stream and I have to switch between games pretty fast because each one only gets an hour, you know. I want to make sure you guys get what you want. Ooh, favorite type of bread. Now, that's a strange... I prefer Bread Knife because he supports my content. Um, no. Okay. Favorite type of bread normally is just normal, boring white. But, if I'm going to Subway and I'm getting a sandwich bread, I'm getting... Oh, okay, actually, potato bread is godlike. Is potato bread the really soft one that like sort of like wraps around burger like, like you you can put it on like burgers and stuff it's used in some uh, some like uh, Japanese meals that is oh also garlic bread okay now actually you guys are awakening me to, to like a lot of things potato bread is really good um, like really good you know what bread I like? Italian herbs and cheese. If I'm going to Subway, you better believe I'm already ordering the Italian herbs and cheese. But potato rolls, potato bread, amazing. Garlic bread, heavenly. But man, potato rolls bring out so much in whatever you're eating them with. It's, it's, okay. It's, for me, 
this is very akin to the white chocolate, dark chocolate debate thing. If you're, you know, if you're a believer that white chocolate is chocolate. Like, or which is better, you know, white chocolate or dark chocolate. Because it's like, look, milk chocolate is already the uncontested best chocolate. You can't go against milk chocolate, I'm sorry to say. It's so good. But, um... Milk chocolate is uncontested best chocolate. And we're just sort of debating second and third. Also, hey, new sponsor coming through, watching the stream and supporting it too. Spam some fail heralds in chat because it's our queue. Uh, welcome. Grass Block Industries to the Filthy Crew. Thank you, my man. Also, all new sponsors are all sponsors. Hit me up on, uh, or, or post your friend code on, um, on Discord after you join the Discord and, and link your account and everything. Uh, link your YouTube account with Discord and stuff. And then hop in. Anyway, um, now, sorry, I, I, I got my, my, my brain distracted. What, what were we on about, um, I was comparing it to white chocolate with dark chocolate. Um, well, what was the thing we were talking about before chocolate? Oh my god, hello! Oh my god, hello. What was it? Also, where's the teleporter? Bread, that's right. I feel like white bread is like... You can't pick white bread as your favorite bread because it's already like the stable bread no nah, i guess that's uh that's that's pretty tough to say though because i know there are people that that do just genuinely prefer whole grain i feel like white bread though if you pick white bread as your favorite bread you haven't had enough interesting bread in your life quite frankly because like there's like cinnamon bread and stuff like like once you think about it there's just so many different types of bread it's hard to like Pinpoint, you know, like, like which is your true fear. You have to like think about it for a sec. Jesus. Oh. Um. Favorite ice cream? Oh. I'm a big fan of just simply cookies and cream. Then move on to the next area, you have enough. That's what I'm trying to do! I have to find the teleporter. In order to actually get out of here, you have to find the teleporter again. The teleporter changes location every time, so I have to go place to place to slowly whittle it down its locations. Not that I've been really keeping track of where I've been, but you know. Um, cookie dough is a nice, simple one. Oh, if I had an absolute favorite, though. Yeah, cookies and cream is really good. I couldn't put cookies and cream as my favorite, though. It would have to be one of, like, the, the specialized, um... Is this death? Hold on. There we go. It has to be one of those specialized, like, Baskin Robin 31 flavors, you know? One of the ones that's, like, uh... Like, 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 like chocolate... Like, 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 um, it's just sort of like chocolate brownie mix, or like, like some sort of s'mores ice cream or something. Like, it, it would have to be one of those, cause I just like, I just like so many. You know, it's ice cream. Oh, hey, maybe it's the same way every time. I have no idea. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, hey, we got a call. There we go. You did it! You can, you, you, uh, I can try out my new recipe with all these delicious cookie dabbas. Uh, I really love to cook. It calms me down. Let's focus on making some nutritious for body and soul. It's funny, food only, uh, only became a true passion for me after leaving my Insta food company. To be honest, I didn't leave. I was asked by the board of directors because I tried to sabotage the company. I wanted to see it fall. Oh. Oh, I see. We were making people sick, Beatrix. The food we sold was garbage and we knew it. It was all about the money. I wanted it to all go away. Oh, that's so, that's actually pretty wholesome. I like that. But it become too big. I couldn't stand against it, so I was gone. I got my ticket to the far, far ranch soon thereafter. And here we are, listening to me carry on about the past instead of focusing on the kookadabas. Let's get back on track. Give me another load of kookadabas. I'll be so grateful. I'll give you the keys to my retreat. That's right. It'll be all yours to keep. 
Good luck out there. So I don't even get it yet. So what did I do? What do I do? I mean, I got another 10, but I... Uh, I was hoping to get a little bit more progress. I guess we took a... St we got like one third of the puzzle. But that ain't the puzzle. Hey, new member coming through watching the stream and supporting it too. Spam some, uh... Fail activated in chat because it's our cue. No, spam some fail baited in chat because it's our cue. Because, uh... We got baited into believing we done upgrade the plant here. Uh, and welcome. Ka! Ka! -ka! To the Fail Fleet crew. Welcome, my guy. Alright. What's gonna happen now? It's time. It's time. We're gonna be switching on over to the good oh old Hello. Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. Not as much of a Nuzlocke for this stream, but it's still, still technically a Nuzlocke. We will be back, everybody, in three to five minutes. It's gonna be a good one. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be a good one. Now, as always, let me just stand outside here and do my save and quit. We're back in three to five minutes with Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a Pop Tart during the downtime. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs>